I you love, know what I mean? I love, and I tell my wife this all the time, right? I love that. So I dated a lot of women before. Hey. And yeah. Watch your mouth now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> I'll be real. She's know, she knows the story. I said it. A, you was outside, my boy? I was outside. Yo, the month before I met my wife, mm, I was the dating. The month? Yeah. Come on, I, I, the night I met my wife, I was on a date with two women at supper club. Mm. You're going to get in trouble now. No, no, she knows. Let me get out of camera. Yeah, you know, let me get out <laughs> of camera. Right? No, no, she right. knows. You got a friend. This story has been told, right? Uh, I, on our first date yeah. at Houston's, yeah. I told her, we were talking about family. We were talking about real estate. We were talking right. about, le- like, off real the rip. off the rip. Right. Matter of fact, at the club. Yeah. That's why I never went back to those other girls. Right. I was talking to her. I was like, she was talking about mortgages and, yeah, like, yeah, real yeah, estate. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, what? Got you. Got me. Mm. She wasn't talking about Louis Vuitton. She doesn't talk about she did material her homework. stuff. She, she doesn't do any of that stuff. Homework on the she, she, she didn't know me. Right. She didn't know me. She was celebrating her birthday with her girls. They just happened to take her there. And my boys were throwing a party. I was on a date yeah. with my my boy. Had a double date with me. I had I brought a backup just in case. Mm. And then I left both of them. The next that was a Saturday. Yeah. Monday I took my wife out on a date. And I on Tuesday I took her out again. Right. And on Tuesday night I said, "Look, here's the I made a list at work. These are 17 women. These are their names." And if any of the any of your friends, I don't know who you are, yeah. if any of your friends bring, say, yo, Gene Alert, mm-hmm. just know that off the list. No, I'm cutting everybody off on Wednesday. Wow. I see this, you know? <laughs> you know, and then you know. a month later, a month later, I said to her, "Yo, in two years, I was like, we're gonna." If if this is what it is, if yeah. if this is what I'm seeing, right? Because mm-hmm. I'm seeing something, right? So if this is real, in two years we're gonna be engaged. Yeah. We're gonna be engaged for one year, and we're gonna get married. Like nine New York, we gotta do a destination wedding because okay. I want the wedding to be about you. Okay. Because my family is huge. Okay. So she was like, "Ah, you funny, you silly." Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. Yeah, right. Screw, yeah. Mm. So that brings me to a point where it's, I believe strongly that men choose their wife. Oh well, yeah. A wife, a woman can't choose their husband. Yeah. Every time no. a woman's like, "Yo, you better marry me. Oh, no, you no, better no, no, marry no, no. me." Right move. Guess what happens? Yeah, Divorce. You out here. You out here. Mm-hmm. That's right? our word. That's another one of our common sayings that women. Have women grant access to sex, men grant access to relationships. Oh, yeah. Because just because women can offer you sex don't mean that you're going to marry them. Yeah. But men are the gatekeepers of relationships mm-hmm. and, you know. Marriage. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah marriage. I agree. Yeah. No, it's real. Yeah. Because, like, so. the di- But, 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 oh, but, but, yeah, but what you were saying was, was like, okay. So. I want to go somewhere else, but let's let's stay here a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, where they say women who have high body counts, right? They say that women who deal with a lot of men, it makes it harder for them to choose a man because they have so many choices. Is that's the opposite for men? Because men who deal with women and have a lot of options, they kind of. St- put yeah. to the side what they don't Bro. want and kind of yeah. narrow, narrow in down. what yeah. they want, right? Absolutely. I think so. What you think so? I think, I, well, I, I, I would agree because I think, like, uh, especially when it's sex involved, mm. um, women just, I think they confuse themselves because, you know, they, they, a lot of women think they're in love with every man they sleep with. Sleep with, right, like, right, right, right. Sleep with. And, mm. But men, you, we know that's not the case. Yeah. And, that might be a way to X out chicks to to you know to dwindle it down, dwindle what, 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 that sex? number down. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, what if like sex is bad or what? What? Sex is bad or it's not even early? you know not even not even but or, or, uh, as far as like, um, I think once a man is mentally stimulated and physically stimulated by a woman, 
naturally he'll start like to gravitate to that particular woman. Right. That's the truth. You know what right. I mean? Right. Um and if 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 there's another woman that <laughs> men are not gonna most men are not going to gravitate to a woman that mentally stimulates them but physically they're not attracted to or whatever or they don't yeah. you know they don't want to have sex with. Mm-hmm. Um they'll stick around with a chick for a little while with a chick that is good sex and but they don't they don't click like that but that's going to that's going to die also right but women when they feel like they give physical to give the physical thing to to uh, a man they have sex with a man yeah. they might think that's that could be a love thing that's a possibility that's it, yeah. is there still a possibility Gave him my heart and my coochie. Yeah. And yo, <laughs> that, that whole uh that whole pair bonding shit. Where it's right, like, yo, right, once right, they right, sleep right. with a dude, they they feel a bond to you know, to a man. Yeah. Whereas men, it's not like, you know, you know, you could you could deal with a chick or be like, Oh yeah, yeah. I remember when I slept with her or whatever. It was all right or whatever like that. But that's all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Like ain't no like, yo, I miss her. Like, oh, damn, I wonder was yo, damn, that was the one I got nah. I don't think, you know, most dudes is not like, yo, that's yeah, the one no. that got away, whatever, like that. I want to shift the conversation one more place before we end, end, end the show. I want to speak to Gene about this. Um, I'm not going to say any names of any people that are famous or anything. Like but what do you feel about the state of the black financial gurus? <laughs> the people who kind of made their mark helping black people with stocks, with crypto, with real estate. And um, lately there's been popular people that have been sued. Oh. And (laughs) there has been popular podcasts that had people on and then been saying that the people that have been on were verified scammers. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, um, like, Black financial gurus have been preying on the black community, or they were really trying to help, and a couple of bad people slipped between the cracks. Okay, 